Normally, the state capitol is a bustle of legislators, lobbyists, school tours, and more. I've been in here for the past seven weeks. Um, it's, it's a bit eerie. But uh, Assembly Speaker uh, Anthony Rendon says even when the Assembly reconvenes on Monday, it won't look much different than it does today. We're only going to be using three committee hearings at, at the start, or three biggest committee hearings, so we can make sure that members are able to maintain social distancing. And that is just the beginning. Legislators will only be allowed to bring one staff member with them into the building. There will be no face-to-face -face meetings between legislators, no lobbyists. Some remote testimony to committees will be allowed. And under California's Constitution, the public has to be allowed to have access to legislative proceedings, but they're going to have to sit six feet apart. And there's more. The last thing that they want to see is a hot spot at the, the Capitol when the legislature returns. KCRA 3 political analyst Kevin Riggs has been around the Capitol for decades. He says there also will be differences between how the Assembly and Senate do business. The Senate has told its members that they can vote remotely if need be. Leadership in the Assembly disagrees with that. They say to pass constitutional muster, members have to be here physically to vote. And the legislature has a tight deadline to finish that business. Normally, they would have reconvened weeks ago, but the coronavirus halted that. There's no way we can have the, the normal number of bills. Elk Grove Assemblyman Jim Cooper says with the short time they have, bills before the legislature will be limited, mostly a central business, COVID-19 response being top of mind. I'm probably going to have like four or five bills, and most of those bills in some respect are related uh, to the epidemic. The other big issue, the budget, which under the state constitution has to be passed by June. But there's another complication. When the epidemic hit, tax deadlines were extended, meaning the legislature really doesn't know how much money will be coming in. The thinking is that they will pass some sort of a placeholder budget, but it's not going to really reflect the amount of revenue coming into the state because they're not going to know that until July. If conditions have not improved by June, when assembly floor sessions will likely start, they may have to make other adjustments. There simply isn't enough room on the floor to sit six feet apart. We've had uh, extensive conversations with a number of venues that are larger than even even our own assembly uh, chambers, uh, so that we, if, if need be, we may have a session in, uh, say, an auditorium here in Sacramento, someplace that's larger than, uh, than our own chambers. Meaning one house of the legislature wouldn't even be in the Capitol when it votes. In Sacramento, Dave Manocherry, KCRA 3 News.